Today, I'm gonna to tell you how to make a lot more money as a software developer, how to get a pretty big pay bump using a technique that I have used with my coaching clients countless times and is pretty much guaranteed to work. So here's the deal. I want you to think about something from a mathematical perspective. So of the job that you currently have right now, what is the probability that job is the highest paying job that you could possibly have right now? It's pretty low. So if we looked at a bell curve of software development pay, you would see that a majority of the jobs fall in the middle of the average pay. And there's some that are super low and there's some that are super high. Now, your goal is to make it one that is super high. So most likely the job you have right now probably falls somewhere in the middle of the bell curve. That's if you haven't really optimized, try to get the highest pay that you could, which means that you've applied for the majority of jobs that you could and got the most offers that you could. So for example, let's say that you applied for jobs and you got one offer. If you got one offer and then that's the job that you took, is that likely to be the highest paid one? No, it's probably not. Are you following me here? Let's say you got five offers and you picked the best one out of those five. Is that still likely to be the highest possible paid job that you could have gotten at that time? No, but it's probably more on that bell curve on that side of being a high paid job. The basic math tells us that the more job offers that we have, the more likely that we are to get one of those lucky jobs that is going to be higher pay. Now, you might think, John, it's not a lucky job that pays higher. Well, it sort of is because what it comes down to is that there's some luck involved here because if you've applied for any jobs as a software developer, that the best person does not always get the job. Sometimes there's some luck in the draw and sometimes there can be big differences in the pay just depending on the company and what they happen to offer for that job or what they consider that you're qualified for or what title that pay band you belong in. So there's a lot of different variables here and we can really attribute a lot of that to luck. Now, don't get me wrong. Obviously, you want to have your skills as high as possible. You want to market yourself as a software developer. By the way, if you haven't done that, I do have a course on that. If you go to simpleprogram.com, also check out my books on Amazon. I have a couple of books, Soft Skills Software Developers Life Manual and Complete Software Developer Career Guide. Both of those books are on audio versions as well. You will enjoy reading those books, I promise you. And you'll get a lot of value out of those as far as advancing your career and just your life in General. Anyway, the point here is that you probably don't have the best possible job that, that you could. So all we have to do is use math in our favor to know that if we apply for enough jobs and we do a good enough job of applying for those jobs and we get enough offers, then the probability will be higher and higher that we've maximized our potential given our current market, given our current skills and what jobs you could get. So if you've only gotten an offer for one job and you've taken that job, there's a really high probability that you could get a pay bump of 25, 50% higher, in, especially with inflation going on, because it's very unlikely that you've optimized it. Now, if you got 10 offers and you picked the best one out of 10, probably you're pretty high up on that end. But most software developers I talk to, they only got one offer and they took that first offer that they got when they're looking for a job, they found the job, they took that offer. Some maybe had two or three offers, but what I wanna do is I wanna get you at least five offers, maybe 10 offers. So the way that I do this with my coaching clients is I have them basically go through an entire spreadsheet of applying for jobs to treat this exactly like a sales funnel. So the way that we're gonna do this, I'll give you a basic overview of this, is that you're gonna start off and you're gonna apply for a minimum of five jobs a day. Now, when you apply for these five jobs a day, you're not gonna apply like you normally do. Instead, we're gonna do some really detailed applications. So we're gonna go in there and you're gonna tailor your resume for the job. So that means you're gonna look at the job description, you're gonna see what skills, what things that they're requiring, and you're gonna cut out some stuff, some skills that are unnecessary. You're gonna rearrange how you word your experience so that everything in your resume screams, I'm the best fit for this job based on that job description. You're gonna match that up as, as closely as possible. Possible. Again, you're not going to lie. You're not going to make stuff up. You're just going to admit some things that don't add to it. And you're going to add some things that will make the case even better. Next thing you're going to do is the cover letter the same exact way. You're going to go research the company. You're going to go on LinkedIn. You're going to see who works there. You're going to find out as much details as you can so that you can, in the cover letter, indicate that you know the history of the company, you know about their products, and you have read the job description and your cover letter is tailored to them. That will take you about half an hour to apply for one job, but you're going to do five of these a day and you're going to do that five days a week. So in one month, how many jobs will you have applied for? 100 jobs. 
Now, if you apply for jobs that way, very, very high quality applications, out of 100 jobs, you're probably gonna get at least 25 interviews. If you do those 25 interviews, you're probably gonna get at least five offers. Now, right there, I can pretty much guarantee you, if you do things that way, especially coming in with a really good resume and cover letter, you're probably already gonna be at your goal. And one of those five offers, which you can now negotiate and play against each other, is probably gonna give you a 25% pay boost right there, just for doing that work. You gotta to commit to doing that work. If you wanna keep on going, do that for two months, and I can almost guarantee you that you're going to get a huge pay increase in your salary. It's almost guaranteed because we're just using math just from a very basic standpoint if you get your first job without really trying very hard with maybe just getting one offer you probably didn't do the best as you can and you probably have more experience now so if you do this you get at least five offers even up to 10 offers you're almost guaranteed to do this now if you want some help doing this i actually created a spreadsheet i have a bunch of resources that show you exactly how to do this and how to do this process and track it i created a spreadsheet that lets you track all this stuff there'll be a link in this video where you can get my career toolkit that gives you all of that stuff Plus, there's a bunch of other bonus stuff in there about the interview process that will help you to increase that and a salary negotiation guide. One of the best ones that I have ever seen because I made it.